The battleground polling that showed Kamala Harris with an explosive early start has now flipped with Trump up and momentum on his side. A return to the mean is what the statistics people call it. Mark Halpern is out with new reporting on how the polls are reverting back to where the race stood before the Biden-Trump debate in June. All four of the Sun Belt states, possible that they could be put, not, not with huge margins, but back to the Trump camp, which is where they were pretty decisively when Joe Biden got out of the race. If that is the case, then the Democrats are going to have a difficult time figuring out how to keep uh, a, a second path in play uh, and which of the four to try to fight back. The one bright spot for Kamala Harris continues to be young voters, especially young women voters. Harris has seen some very positive trends there. New Harvard youth poll finds Harris leads Trump by 31 percentage points among voters under the age of 30. 61% versus Trump's 30. That's huge. What's even more surprising, Harris leads Trump among young men, 59 to 33. That is unwelcome news for the former president, who has made every effort to corner the bro vote. He's made numerous appearances on popular men's podcasts at UFC fights. This weekend, he's going to be in Tuscaloosa, Alabama for the college football game between the Crimson Tide and the Georgia Bulldogs. Chris Hahn is here, News Nation political contributor, host of the Aggressive Progressive podcast, um, and knows a thing or two uh, about football. I get, you know, you don't ever want to take sides when you're a president and you show up at one of these games. I'm thinking, though, he might be in Georgia Bulldog gear uh, if he wants to win Georgia, huh? <laughs> You think? Uh, I mean, he's got Alabama in the bag, so uh, he might want to be putting on some Georgia Bulldog caps. He might want to take in a Falcons game that weekend, uh, do whatever he can to get the Georgia bros, bro. <laughs> uh, do you, okay, do you think these things matter? Kamala Harris isn't going to any SEC no. games. No, they don't? Okay, why no, not? I don't, I, don't think, I don't think these things matter. Oh, look. If the race comes down to 1%, everything matters, right? But I find it very hard to believe that late deciding voters are making their choice based on who's wearing their team's jersey that day. Uh, so, I, you know, it, it's good to go. It's good to be seen. I think it helps to be seen more than anything else. But I don't think people are making up their minds on who to vote for be, by what team they root for. Otherwise, you know, I'd be voting for Donald Trump. We're both Yankees giant fans, and I'm sure as hell not voting for him. Yeah, you, you didn't need to clear that up for us. I mean, we, I think we already all figured that out um, ahead of time. <laughs> there, there's, there, there's, a, there's a connection here, right? Um, the bro vote is pretty pro-gun, um, especially younger men. And younger men now, more than young women, are turning religious. They're becoming uh, more and more religiously involved. Here's Donald Trump yesterday in Pennsylvania. Take a listen. Christians, we got to get the Christians to vote. You know, I don't know what it is. Relatively, they don't vote a lot. If we had Christians voting in full strength, we couldn't lose. That was true. That's what turned the 2016 election. We know those numbers. I'm going to yeah. flip that around. Okay, here is Doug Emhoff, uh, the second gentleman, Kamala Harris's husband, uh, on the stump. Take a listen. Women in this country are sick and tired of weak men trying to take away their fundamental rights and then and then gaslight you about it. We're sick and tired of it. And the women in this country will never humble themselves before Donald Trump. I guess he feels that if you scream, it is slightly uh, more enthusiastic. I, I don't know. But this insulting Trump voters, right? Women in the country will never humble themselves before Donald Trump. There are an awful lot of women, okay, who voted for Donald Trump in 2016. They may not have voted in 2020. How is this not going right back to the Hillary Clinton playbook of insulting anybody who votes for Donald Trump? Uh, I, that is... I, I don't know where you're getting that from that clip, Leland, honestly. Uh, that's not what's happening there. Women have turned their back on Donald Trump because of the policies he put in place, particularly putting three anti-choice uh, votes on the Supreme Court 
and everything else. And his entire campaign is aimed at young men and men. It all focuses on their grievances and their problems. He is not going after the women's vote the way he should. He tried with some lip service the other night. But everything about this campaign so far has been insulting to women, not just young women, but middle-aged women. I mean, some of the things going on in the Ohio Senate campaign the last couple of days are very clearly going to turn yeah, Bernie, off women voters. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.